Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV, wherever you are. And where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly, consider subscribing and turning on the notification button for more of these updates. Agre Award prepared his burial 10 years ago before his death. Once again, thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV, but let's take a quick look into some of these details. Agre Awar, a former ICT minister and presidential contender, will be laid to rest in a cemetery he constructed for himself 10 years ago. On Monday of this week, Awar died of COVID-19 at TMRA International Hospital in Alia, and his body will be put to rest in his rural home in Chibimba village, Buwin Town Council, Bugiri District. According to Awar's sister Constance Itaka, Awari dug his own grave approximately 10 years ago to prepare for his death and he desired to be buried in a relatively quiet location. She added that the deceased frequently informed his relatives and friends that he built his burial place to alleviate the financial burden on his family and mourners. Their brother was a very open-minded guy and he often informed us including some of his neighbors about how he would he had built his own cemetery as a means of lessening the financial burden that would be borne by mourners during the preparation of his last burial rituals on thursday dozens of mourners descended on his home and gathered at the mausoleum to pay their respects a neighbor justice or cage claims that they had no choice but to gather at the mausoleum because burial ceremonies are limited to no more than 20 people as part of the COVID-19 control measures. Awari was a senior elder in the society, according to Okech, and they honored his decision to build a cemetery before his death. From 2001 until 2006, Awari served in parliament as the representative for Samia Bugwe North in the Bushia district. He was a member of the Uganda People's Congress, that is UPC, a political organization that was known for its vocal position. He left UPC in 2007 and then joined the governing resistance movement, that is NRM. And Awari was named Minister of Information and Communications Technology in 2019, served until 2011 when he was removed from the government in a reshuffle. Then in 2011, he ran for the presidential elections, that is 2011, till his death today. Uh, so according to the sources, Awari's death was untimely and he died of COVID-19. But before dying of COVID-19, he had already prepared his burial place. Reason being that he never wanted to burden the family with the expenses of mourning and the mourners with the expenses of burying, making cemeteries. Therefore, the mourners gathered at the mausoleum due to the COVID SOPs. They had to be less than 20 people in the place of the burial. Well, may the soul of the deceased rest in eternal peace. Uh, well, that is it from Progen Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this. But kindly do one thing, subscribe and turn the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Progen Media TV.